Roger, what was the reason for rescinding this uh, resolution? Um, well, basically, I don't know if you know. Making a budget is never an easy process. It's, it's, it's kind of difficult. Nine of, generally nine of us up here, nine opinions. Um, the way I saw it at the last meeting, which I voted for this budget, was a, that it was a 5-4 vote. Uh, a lot of things were mentioned about trustees saying not enough time. Uh, we got to look at this a little deeper. And so, you know, we're talking to people and thinking about it and then talking to the central office a little bit. Uh, I thought that let's give this the time that those other board members thought they deserved and uh, see if we can't do something that would be a little better. And basically that was how I came up with that. That's I hope all seven <coughs> board members that are here realize that you're not, when you voted to raise it 2%, it translates into less than 1% on the overall budget. Right. And I would remind all of you that five zeros are what put this board behind the eight ball. And you're assuming that the state's going to keep coming through with that money. Well, not, not necessarily assuming, but one of the other things, this is Joe Broderick speaking, and what I thought is that, you know, we look to the last three years. Now, I know you said three zeros, but the last three years is around 12 percent. Right. It, so, well, I that, mean, that's because you didn't know what you were doing with the two, three, four, five million that was gone, it wasn't gone, so you had to raise it for over 5 percent. The 1.99 budget was responsible, well put out, and came as a result of no less than five budgetary meetings, finance committee meetings, which started out as a request for a budget that would have had a 2.57 increase in the budget. Many of us thought that that would translate into a little bit much. Finally, after much discussion, it did come down to 1.9, and there were people who wanted it even lower than that, which is what you're seeing today. The problem that we have here is that to be good to the taxpayer on one hand, and to be good to the students on the other, are mutually exclusive. You can't do both. So you have to come up with some sort of balance. 